But for more on Javad Zarif's resignation from Iran's parliament, journalist and author Tara Kangalu joins us now from London. Thank you very much for joining us, Tara. So what lies behind this resignation? Well, first of all, this is not the first time that uh, the foreign minister has expressed his um, rage and frustration with the hardliners that are essentially uh, in opposition to his engaging and, and uh, moderate foreign policy agenda. Um, but this time is very different. It comes at a very sensitive and critical time, at a, at a time when President Trump has pulled out of the Iran deal, uh, something that was incredibly important to uh, Foreign Minister Zarif and uh, President Rouhani, but also the fact that yesterday Bashar al-Assad, um, the Syrian president, went to Iran um, without the foreign ministry's knowing, and the foreign minister was not present in this very, very uh, critical meeting. So um, we know that Rouhani hasn't um, accepted his resignation mm -hmm. yet, and that there is actually an, um, an impact from the parliament not to accept that resignation. What do you think will happen next? Absolutely. Um, uh, the foreign minister's announcement came very late last night, and immediately uh, many foreign diplomats and Iran's ambassadors around the world came out to his defense and said essentially, we will quit um, if his resignation go through. And today, uh, over 150 politicians and members of the parliament raised their voice. But what's, what's very critical and important is how the Iranian people are raising their concerns uh, about the foreign minister's uh, resignation and the possibility of him leaving the administration. Uh, for many years, whether this administration or uh, Rouhani's first term, the foreign minister served as uh, the ambassador of reform and engagement and moderation. Uh, and, and many Iranians, millions of them, who want to belong to the international community, essentially voted for Rouhani to have Zarif. So he's been very critical. He had some harsh words. He gave an interview to a newspaper and he said the foreign policy is being poisoned by party and factional fighting. Why did he say that and what do you expect to happen next? Absolutely. Uh, more than anything, whether uh, Zarif stays or not, uh, this uh, reflects the very volatile domestic divide and um, gap between the hardliners who make up the nucleus of the regime uh, that are very different than the majority moderates that are represented by Zarif. He's frustrated and um, uh, U.S. President Trump's decision to make it harder uh, for JCPOA to give the fruits that it once promised uh, does not make this easier. So um, is this though directly linked to his role as a negotiator in the nuclear deal? Of course. Um, hardliners in Iran did not want that. Uh, the hardliners and conservatives uh, make a lot of money uh, through Iran being isolated, through Iran being sanctioned, and they don't want to belong to the rest of the world. But Zarif represents the millions of people who uh, were tired f uh, for years of these sanctions. And uh, the, the ordinary Iranians that want to uh, move forward from decades of isolation. Well, we have to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for that insight and for joining us here in the studio, Tara Kangaloo. Thank you so much for having me.